We're in a new chapter, chapter nine. We're gonna identify and describe two-dimensional shapes, and this short video is going to help us get ready for chapter nine. Here we have some lines. This is a straight line. This line has a curve. Shapes have sides. This triangle has a side here. It has a side here, and it has a side here. It has three sides. And this rectangle has a side on top. It has a side here, a short one. It's got a side here, and it's got a side here. So a line can be straight or a curve that is rounded and a line in a shape is a side of the shape. We'll talk about sides more later on in the chapter. This is a circle. This is the word circle, C-I-R-C-L-E. This is a triangle. The triangle has three sides. This is the word triangle, T-R-I-A-N-G-L-E, triangle. Here we have a square, S-Q-U-A-R-E, that's the word square. And if you notice, the square has one, two, three, four sides. Here's a rectangle. This is the word rectangle, R-E-C-T-A-N-G-L-E, -E, rectangle. A rectangle also has four sides, but it has two sides that are long, and this is the third side, and this is the fourth side. These sides are short. Here we have a hexagon, H-E-X-A-G-O-N, hexagon. A hexagon has six sides. One, two, three, four, five, six sides. So in this chapter, we're going to learn about a circle, a triangle, a square, a rectangle, and a hexagon. We're also going to learn about lines and sides. So we have a circle, a triangle, a square, a rectangle, and a hexagon. This is the word alike. When things are alike, it means they have things in common. They could look the same or have the same parts. So here we have this shape and we can say it's these two shapes are alike. They look like each other, don't they? And this triangle and this triangle, these two are alike. In the next video, 9.1, we're going to identify and name circles. I hope you'll join me, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.